Logic, you may this may be a shock to you, but I'm actually 12 years old, and I find the mention of penis unworldly. Why don't you Please have a seat right over there? Around. What? what? <laughs> I was saying that to Logic. It's like, Logic, why oh. don't you have a seat over there? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what are you, what, what, what you doing here? Please have a seat over there. Why'd you bring pizza? <laughs> Oh, uh, that one guy that brought pizza, oh, fucking killed me. What uh, killed me more is that that one guy who came, who came to the house. He came? The instant he saw him, the instant he saw him, he just he just left and immediately got arrested. Oh, yeah. He's he like, oh, fuck this up. shit. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, Chris. <laughs> There's now, like, information going by that apparently Chris has been <coughs> lying and, like, he's a fraud or some shit. Uh, Chris Hansen? Yeah, and I'm just like... No, the other Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chris <Miles> Jericho? <laughs> <laughs> he can't put me in a sharpshooter? <laughs> but no, um, I, I've been hearing some recent stuff about uh, Hansen and whatever the fuck uh, is going on. Basically, I just like the older videos of To Catch a Predator. And yeah, the one you're talking about, he comes to meet a quote-unquote 13-year-old, and then in comes Chris Hansen, and he's like, No, Chris, oh god, he just fucking bolts. And then he gets arrested. Uh, he wasn't going to go anywhere. The dude looked like he weighed like 300 pounds. He had a, he had a gut. He didn't, can't run very fast. It also didn't help he was 59 years old, so it's like... He... <laughs> His back is going to give out. <laughs> Hey, Golden. Hey, Wolfhead. That's rude. <laughs> Logic is here, too. Say hi to Logic. I, They didn't hear me. Well, Hello, I'm Jay. introducing you anyway. Oh. Yeah, the pizza one yeah, was Jay. weird. Um, there, been, I've seen some videos where, like, some, like, predators come in, and I'm just sitting there thinking, like, what the fuck are they doing? Like, one of them literally came into the house, and he stripped himself naked. No, don't tell me that. You know the worst part about that? I was yeah, I, I was watching this in the last week. I saw that that guy, yeah, came in, stripped naked. Chris Hansen found him. The next day, he goes back to the same chat, talks to the same investigators. Oh, does he go to a to McDonald's? With someone else. Yeah, goes to McDonald's. Yeah, I saw he's that. Walking out, walking out of McDonald's, Chris is there. He's like, dude, again. He's like, I'm just going <laughs> to eat. He's like, dude, I have the chat logs again. You've been caught again one day later. Jesus Christ. By the way, chat, we're talking about episodes of Chris Hansen. I think they put, they oh, pieced yeah, that right. together. Hi. Oh, yeah, if I, if yeah, because some people are saying, like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? <laughs> yeah. Chris Hansen. But Chris yeah. Hansen. The OG Chris Hansen. Yeah. The fucking hi, have a seat over there, God, Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this pre-show starts. We talk about freaking Chris Hansen videos. As soon as Chris Hansen comes in, oh fuck. Oh yeah, that's right. There was one dude who like drove from New York, and as mm -hmm. soon as he walks in the house, like he goes to use the bathroom. As soon as he comes out, um, Chris comes out and he's like, "Josh, why don't you come here and sit down?" It's like, "Oh fuck, I know who you are." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, there's several of them who know who he is. Oh, at this it's point, like, yeah. <laughs> You know Chris Hansen exists. You know people are out there to catch predators. Why do you act like a predator and then actually follow through on this shit? Because they're stupid. Of course they're stupid. That's crazy. <laughs> it's the power of boners. I, I'm sorry to be so gross about it, but it's like... It's the no, power it's of boners. Gross. There's some that I don't even want to, like, mention. Oh, I just remembered. I have to, um... Heartless Doom, thank you for hosting. Um... I got. I forgot to pop out the other windows, like for the alert box and the chat box. I always got to be ready for that. Oh wait, I already have the chat box out. Uh, let's pull out the donation goal, even though it's like never used anymore. Hashtag heartless raid. That's not a raid. That's a sad birthday party. Did, that's what? one person. That's one person, and you're the only one at your own birthday party. I'm With one just... balloon and a big cake that you gotta eat yourself because nobody else came. One balloon that you filled up yourself Sounds so like... it doesn't float. D Birch, thank you for hosting. Sounds like my ideal birthday. <laughs> no, we were there for your birthday, you freaking sad. No, my sad ideal boy. birthday. Oh, your ideal birthday. 
fuck all's going on. No one's making a big deal out and of I it. Just I now, just exist. I just now remember there was like, okay, there's a couple, but one of which, a guy comes in and he brings a shit ton of alcohol drinks. Like, he's gonna drink all of that. Like, what? Three different things. It's like various, like, Chris sees and he's like, what's all this? How much are you gonna drink it? Um, all of it. You're gonna drink this all to yourself. Fucking get fuck around, well, get alcohol sports. poisoning. <laughs> In someone else's house with their kid. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we're just hanging, hanging, casually hanging out with a 17 year old, got a big old bottle of fucking. Yeah, that's totally not vodka. awkward at all. <laughs> hey, Chris Hansen. <laughs> hey, Chris Hansen, this is a normal everyday scenario where Desert I. Desert Samurai, Magical Star bottles. Flash, thank you for hosting. <laughs> Where I just drink five liquor bottles with a fucking ten-year-old. Nothing to see here. Uh, Chris Hansen's just like, one. yeah, okay. There was another one where a dude comes in, um, and uh, he was supposed to bring something for the kid, and he didn't. And that's the next thing that Chris Hansen comes into. It's like, why didn't you bring her anything? I just didn't think about it. And, of course, you know, there's the last few words, like, the police are waiting for you outside, and the dude just like passes out and collapses and knocks his head directly into a wall. I thought there was another scenario where, like, sometimes when people get caught in the act of uh. doing something shitty, a lot of the times they will fake having an illness. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what the context was, but I think one dude, when he got caught doing something bad, he pretended to have a seizure. He just fell what down the and fuck started to happen. Uh, thank you for the subscription. Jesus Christ. Oh, hi. Why don't you have a seat over there? <laughs> <laughs> Myth! <laughs> it was cutting out hard. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I just heard your donation. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Sig Anonymous, thank you for that. Because, good lord. Okay, so, gifted tier sub to Wolfhead, Endless Nonsense 28, Myth... Free, I can't even read that. It's a chow. <laughs> well, they say. Oh. <laughs> All right, keep going. You know what's yeah, funny? Because yeah. the donation came in like right after someone said, "Should we make a drinking game on how many Chris Hansen joke you guys are gonna crack?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Then, then we would die from alcohol poisoning. <laughs> I don't have anything to drink, so it looks like it looks like I win by default. <laughs> drink the air. He's gonna dr die from oxygen poisoning. <laughs> air is a fluid. Why can't you drink it? Yeah, didn't you hear? Got a big old cup of oxygen right here with me right now. Lana. <laughs> yeah, uh, my cup is com my cup is completely full of oxygen. Yeah, it's nitrogen. F full up to the fucking brim. Can't even shake this shit, or else you'll spill it. I, uh, it's constantly spilling, but it's also constantly refilling, so that's handy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that a little is... win, a little lose. Yeah, it's a good thing about drinking oxygen. What the fuck are we talking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. Air is the fluid. <laughs> you can't even tell me I'm wrong, because it technically is. <laughs> Not a liquid, a fluid. Let's see, uh, um, the old golden fox, now are you doing today? You, don't you mean how? Uh, Kenny Arkin, Arkin Pony, uh 197 uh, thank you for hosting. I could still call you out on your grammar mistake. <laughs> so, uh, what is on the agenda, d -Bird says. Um, I oh, didn't this know, ought to be good. Yeah, no, I didn't know what game to play. There were a couple of suggestions. Uh, funny story. Wolf had suggested a nice um, fan-made Genesis game that it's also available on Steam called Tanglewood. I currently don't own it. Um, I'm currently having a little bit of money trouble, so I'm going to save until next week. There was another game that Riley recommended to me for the Genesis that looks like a copy of Zelda called Crusade of... S Crusade of Senti. Crusader, Crusader of Senti. Senti. It looks like a really fun game, um, but it's a really long game, and that looks like I'm going to have to save that for another time. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Myth Pony suggested Solitaire, and here's the sad truth. When I was trying to open up Solitaire on my computer, because I thought that by default, everybody has the classic Solitaire that as soon as you open up, you got all the uh, deck of cards and you just go to town with it, right? Unfortunately, it's now upgraded to, like, this, like, special interactive sort of, like, idea. And everything is all flashy, you know? It's, it's, it got the Uno treatment. So, if, if something <laughs> like that happens, I can't stream it at all. So, I tried to search for the classic, um... 
I try to search for the classic solitaire, and fucking Wolfhead can vouch me for this. I had trouble finding it. Yeah. Every every Ooh. solitaire game he found was like a mobile solitaire game. Like it's so hilarious. Now I'm just trying to imagine solitaire with fucking loot boxes and skins and bullshit like that. Oh my god. Sig Sigma, <laughs> oh my god, you don't you have to do fun. that. You don't have to do that. Like, okay, so I did mention before about um Tanglewood. Um, Wolf had said that he was willing to purchase me the game, and while I do appreciate that people get me games, I don't often rely on that. Uh, because that just makes me feel like a burden that, hey, can you buy me this game? Can you buy me that game? I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mooch off of other people. That's not right. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna, um, say this outright right now. I could buy the game for Golden, but I don't wanna be the, what, you know, but I insist. I don't wanna be the I insist guy. It's like, I don't want to have a third cup of this alcohol. It's like, oh, but I insist. Like, don't don't be the I insist guy. If they say no, you got to respect it and just let them, you know, do their own thing. Yeah, that is yes, true. Yes, respect. Yeah. Cards against It's all about respect. Golden will get Tanglewood. Um, <laughs> when he gets it. I, I just realized how kind of lewd that name is. Uh, Golden will get Tanglewood <laughs> eventually. <laughs> yeah. it sounds it like a disease. It, it kind of does. Tang Tanglewood sounds like fucking a disease you can catch in Skyrim from a spriggan. <laughs> <laughs> Tanglewood <laughs> sounds like the orgy of spriggans. Tanglewood sounds like something you get if you sleep with a spriggan. How <laughs> um, many did you get here? It's, it's, <laughs> how, like. Aeon and Sir, have you been sleeping with Spriggins? Like <laughs> sir, have you been sleeping with Spriggins? Uh, no. Well, you got, sir, you got Tanglewood. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that... T. Fernandez. <laughs> Goldenwood. All these wood jokes. The last time we played Castle Crashers, I was like, I lost my wood, and I was talking about the two by four. The whole chat fucking lit, <laughs> lit up, like, oh, Golden Wolfhead lost his wood. Oh, funniest joke in the world. So the you game know? got boring. So now I could just imagine freaking B was a butt at it. <laughs> wood. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Wolf, Wolfhead, you know what I should have done. What should you have done, Logic? When you were complaining about losing your wood, I should have said, "Quick, someone get deaf." Oh no. Uh... We're going on a movie date soon. I'm super excited. Nice. We're going to watch um Hereditary. Hereditary, you said? Yeah, we're going to watch Hereditary cuz I never seen it and Def seen it. So it the, the movie date is kind of like him watching me watch Hereditary. So it's like <laughs> if it was a video, the video would be called Def reacting to Wolfhead reacting to Hereditary, basically. I mean, a bunch of us did sit in a call with you once and just listen to you watch Forrest Gump, so... Dude, that scene where he he was running and he <laughs> fucking ran his braces off? I wasn't ready for that. I was like, <laughs> Golden, it went like this. I, I was like, I just oh. felt like running. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, 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 fuck! Why oh, was... shit! Oh, fuck! Okay, weird question. <laughs> no exaggeration. It, it's like, was it ever explained why he had the leg braces? Uh, oh, yeah, the doctor, what was it? He said his legs are strong, but his spine was all, all crooked, and he needed the braces to straighten out how he was standing and walking. Dude got the spaghetti spine. And then, yeah, then as an adult, uh, uh, that was the same doctor who was treating his mother for whatever she was sick with, and he's like, oh, yeah, we straightened you out, boy, huh? And then he pats him on the back. Like, we straightened out his spine with the braces. I was running! Oh. Hi, Bliss. I just felt like running. I just I felt like running. <laughs> I just Bliss, like was, when you was were, that supposed to that be? It's supposed to be a Godzilla scream, but she kept cutting out. Sound like yeah. Godzilla like kept falling cut, asleep. Y'all kept cutting me out, so yeah. Well, oh, you were cutting yourself out. When I was not. Hears, <laughs> when Discord hears something particularly loud, and it was it not Godzilla. Out. It was this. Oh, it's the T-Rex scream. Oh, yeah. Uh, awesome. Get her right, you pansy! Uh, you know what? Version. Hang on. Yep. Let me see if I have it first, because this could just be for shits and giggles. No. What? But, like, it's not if a you bring out a... Go ahead. Have you seen... Go ahead. 
If you bring out a soundboard, don't do it because then everybody's gonna bring out a soundboard. Oh no! And then apparently okay. I have it. Jurassic Park on the Super NES. <laughs> have you ever played that? Yes, and it's fucking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, surprising! Well, absolutely no one. <laughs> and what were you saying, Meth? I'm sorry. Ever. Oh, because he said for shits and giggles. Have you seen that joke? That's um. It's a Tupperware container full of brownies with a paper uh, tape to it that said, These are for shits and giggles. Some are filled with laxatives and some are filled with pot. Enjoy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good oh. joke. I like oh. that. that I, lo I am a fan of that. I don't want to go to that land. party, but I do like that. Y'all are monsters. When being boot, when being boot. That is pretty evil. It. No, when you know what's evil? is isn't enough anymore. You know what's evil? <laughs> I saw a video of this. Um... Uh, there was a dude and his friend. His friend actually took a bottle of Vipacac, poured it into a can of Coke, and right. just oh. set it right aside. And so the other friend, who's completely unaware, he's just fucking oh. drinking the Coke, and it tastes a little weird. So he continued drinking it anyway. And this was caught on camera. As he's watching television on the bed, <laughs> he just starts throwing his ass up. So he's on yeah, the don't... phone, and he's like, what the fuck did you put in my drink? Is it the can? What is that, laundry detergent? <laughs> that, that's chaotic evil energy right there. That's just mean. Like, not even mean. That's just fucked up. That's chaotic evil. Chat, yeah. don't drink Ipecac. You'll have a bad time. Also, isn't I even Ipecac know that a syrup? Isn't it hard to swallow? And the guy just kept drinking it? Okay, so it, he put it in Coke. It's supposed to be a chemical that makes you throw up. It's supposed to be for, like, if you swallow something poisonous. <laughs> I know what it's for, but isn't Goldie it also a syrup? Like, even if you put a little in, that, that Coke is going to be thick. Damn, boy! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I mean, not dying. when you drink it, not only would it taste weird, wouldn't it also feel weird, and you'd kind of want to stop? That guy must have really wanted some Coke. <laughs> Dude, on a hot day, hell yeah, I want some Coke. That's even more evil. Dude, imagine you were stuck in the desert, and the only thing to drink was Ipecac. Ipecac, as far as the eye can see. <sighs> that's not. What? That's not a drink. That's a torture. I would just be okay. like, "Fucking murder me!" Hello, Robin. If you tried to drink it, if you tried to drink that, and it's designed to make you vomit, it wouldn't help your situation at all. Yeah, I'd, drink more. I'd rather get a fucking mirage. Hey, Robin. How you guys doing? Right. Hey, I, I am fine. I slept for like 15 hours today. It was awesome until I had to get wow. up. What is sleep? Sleep it's is dupe. Thing. Sleep is yeah. a magic spell that uh, makes your body feel better from it existing. God, I wish I knew her. Peep <laughs> her. Hell sense. yeah, buddy. That, makes you, that helps with that. I yeah, was taking well. some earlier this week, and oh my god. <clears throat> people, are, people are either sleeping too much or sleeping too little. I've had occasions where I would be up at four in the morning going, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I awake? I'm not doing anything, but I'm definitely not tired. I suppose I could give Marvel Madness another shot. I don't know. Mar Marble Madness or Marvel Madness? I'm guessing Marble. you said Marble with a B. Okay, let's go with Marble Madness. I mean, no. I still think that the idea of you playing Solitaire is pretty funny. Yeah! yeah. Well, he can't find it. Um, <laughs> why is he not the NES folder? But you can Google play free solitaire and there's uh, yeah, just I'm pretty sure there is a solitaire game on there is something you could play online but i would have to find a way to capture the window you can, can you capture uh chrome oh, yes. windows yeah for you some can. reason there's a weird complication and like i went through so much <laughs> effort to try to set up like a way to capture cat mario and the whole stream mm -hmm. just went to utter shit Wait, uh, i guess this is i guess it's because uh chrome is destroying your ram which is not helping your stream stay up that could be some. Uh, that I didn't know about. Yeah, Chrome, Chrome is a, a lot of RAM. Is a RAM hog. Yeah. Like, mm. I have 16 gigs in my machine, and it sometimes hates when I'm 16? streaming. because. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I got it. I got <laughs> it. <laughs> Listen, okay, yeah, I was, I built, do it where there's only I was one building tab. this computer over the course of two years. So, I ended up having an extra, an extra like, 30 bucks, I got another 8 gig kit, 8 gig kit of RAM. Wow. Wow. So much RAM, you you just get offended? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I wish I had that big amount of RAM. Jesus. <laughs> it's not that expensive. Wolfhead. 
when she looked down and see how big your ram is, hey. Oh my you god. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most fucking. That is. That goes beyond something a Karen would say. Was like, when someone has so much ram, I'm offended. I'm offended by your amount of RAM. You have a disgusting amount of RAM, sir. No, I like, just need to tell you how much I hate it. No, let's see. Let's see on the average of how a Karen acts. I can't breathe with the mask on. Yes, Oh, you dude, can. don't get me fucking started. Have you oh seen the anti-maskers? Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. They're anti-maskers? Oh, God. Oh, There's this no. one freaking iconic... Like, a woman's, like, gi giving, like, an announcement. Like, she, she's in front of a mic. And she's, uh, what does she say? Something like, I don't wear a mask for the same reason I don't wear panties. Because things need to breathe. I no! Saw that. It's so no! <laughs> no! Way to set, way to set an example. Oh my... Wow! No! Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. I, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. So please tell me that's a fucking joke. Let's... No, it's not. No, I can find the clip for you if you want. I, I don't want to see it! it. Okay, if there's a clip, I don't want to see it. I don't. No, no it, it, she's just like giving a speech. She's not actually doing anything. She's, yeah. she's, just being, she's like, not giving a speech. She's uh, she's at a uh, a city council meeting, and they're yeah. hearing arguments about this uh, provision that they wanted to pass that requires businesses to that requires public businesses, so like public spaces, so like you know the DMV or whatever, to require people to wear masks there. Private businesses could still say, no, I don't care if you wear a mask or not. That was the old, that was the thing they were, were talking about, and this woman said that, and it's one of the funniest clips. It's so um, it's almost, great. Almost However, like though, I, I want to say this. Let me just say this to Goldie, because you're the you're responsible for this stream. Uh, be careful about bringing up malware, because this could get political really fast. Okay, okay, I'm not going to bring up malware then. Uh, you know what I mean by malware, the human malware. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, yeah, the word. Okay. The V I R U S. You know what? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay the beer well, virus. <laughs> yeah, okay, we, we kind of mentioned it a couple of times. There hasn't been much damage, but I, I do take caution to that term. The thing, the thing that's worth mentioning is that the fact that people are taking an issue or complaining about. I'm trying to find the right word here. The, the whole anti-mask thing is stupid. There's a reason yeah. for it. It's for everyone's fucking safety. Look, you say that, yeah. oh, you can't breathe through the mask. Yes, you can. It's a pain in the ass to get used to, and there's just a lot of heat around your mouth. Get the fuck over it. And yeah, Again, I'm... you're going to go into politics if you keep this up. Just saying. <sighs> Okay. Uh, okay. And not, yeah. not that I'm disagreeing there. with you. I'm not disagreeing with you, but you are gonna. At you're go, you basically just dove headfirst into politics. So. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah that's what I was trying to warn you about. <laughs> well, so many people are gonna complain, but you know what? It's your stream. <laughs> yeah. So we're on a quest. To like, find I don't, a way to I don't see any. There. I don't see anyone in the Twitch chat running their OBS. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hey, true. Code. hey, Mexico. Yeah, Hey, Mastercode. Oh, yeah. So, um, it's okay, fucking hey, Mastercode. Somebody asked me what movie was the first movie that you saw. Um, God, that's a tough question. Um, Barney movie. I can't remember. <laughs> um, Cinderella, maybe? I had to have been at least three or four, five years old. I don't bloody know. <laughs> I, I, think was a, I was a baboon. <laughs> I remember the first song when I became aware of the radio. The first song that I actually noticed. The one. Uh, it's called Two Teardrops. It's a country song. Mm-hmm. Actually, I've heard that one. At least yeah. once at some point. It, it's, it's something. The earliest film that I remember watching is The Land Before Time. The first one. Oh, God, I remember watching. Okay, as far back as my childhood... To pretty yeah. much my infancy, as far as I can remember. The Land Before Time, The yeah. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. I mean, almost everybody said that their first movie to watch was uh, Wizard of Oz, but whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And the other, which, and it's for a good fucking reason when I say this, fucking Bambi. Yeah. yeah. That scene. 
Yeah, I, I Disney, think the only people who can get away with gruesomely murdering their protagonists. <laughs> Dude, old <laughs> old movies don't give a shit about your feelings. Like I said that about homework. No, because I remember, I remember when that scene was happening and the music was getting intense and I was freaking out until I was like ready to like jump into a pile of pills on a couch screaming. Oh no! I was like, ah! I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then afterwards, I'm just watching freaking Bambi wander aimlessly in the snowy forest going, oh, mother, and I'm like, this is very uncomfortable. Oh, God. It While Golden tries to uh, find, uh, tries to, like, get the stream to work, what is a scene from a movie that you can't believe they showed to a general audience when you saw it in Last Unicorn. I, I got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it! I'm what trying to pull up an antidote here, and you just answer the question so fast. <laughs> wait, what was? The, wait, how did he start? I missed that part because I was posting something. Uh, what is a scene from a movie that uh -huh. you can't believe they got away with or showed to a general audience of people? Like a shocking <laughs> scene or a over or a scene that like made you really uncomfortable? I got two scenes. Uh, I'm just gonna say this: uh, the end of Sausage Party. I can't. Uh, I can't oh, believe that, that, was our, that okay, movie's rated gonna, R. What the fuck are you talking the, about? The I still can't believe they showed one. that to people. <laughs> I don't know what I'm yelling about. If it's rated R, there's going to be some really WTF scenes. Yeah, so. I, I think rated R movies shouldn't count on this one because it's not made yeah. for general. I, I'm going to say GPG should be the cutoff on this one. Yeah. Okay. So, what is a scene in a PG movie that you can't believe, like a like an adult joke they that like flew over your head when you uh, were a kid that you didn't get? With joke you? Does like, Animaniacs um, count? Dude, yeah, Animaniacs. Is <laughs> <full of jokes. laughs> like that. If I was gonna say like a scene in a G movie that I still cannot believe they got away with, yeah. I would say like the ending of Great Mouse Detective. It's like, wait, how did you? This movie's rated G. This movie's rated G. <laughs> I didn't see Mouse there's Detective. Tell me what happens. There's a lot, uh, like, there's blood in it. Oh, no. <laughs> there is hey. actually, wait, there is? Like, you can see in certain shots, you can see, like, when Radigan scratches, God, what's the character? Basil. You Basil. can see, like, the, scra the scratches that he leaves are not, like, you know, most times they would not, you know, leave giant red gaping marks on the character. Like, oh, I'll have to rewatch that then, just to verify that. But I do know the animation for that. Even if, okay, let's say hypothetically speaking, I'm not saying you're wrong, but let's say if you are, Robin, let's just say if you are. Even if if you're wrong, the animation during that fight scene, watching Basil getting gashed and sliced, yeah. you can almost feel it. Yeah. It was so even painful if, to watch. Even if there's not raw blood, which I might be wrong. I haven't seen this movie since like I was 12 at most, so maybe I'm wrong about this. But still, it's a really <laughs> fucked up scene. Dude, somebody in the chat brought up a, a I scene. I knew it! I, I knew somebody Tarzan? would bring it up. No, no, no. Tarzan. Okay, the I already, okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah. I can't say his name right, but Jesus Christ, we're gonna talk about quote unquote PG animated movies. Watership Down was brutal. Oh, yeah. oh it that was that fucking brutal. Week. It didn't phase me at all. The there case was in point. blood. There was dog <laughs> peeing on the ground. <laughs> no, there was a dog, dog who worse. was run loose, and he just fucking rips them apart with his with his mouth. He just grabs them and just yeah, but you don't them in the You just see him catch them. You know, for kids. <laughs> you know, for kids. Yeah. yeah, like there are some there are some movies that I'm like, this is not appropriate for children. How yeah, was why, because... why was I allowed to watch? This movie, yeah. but since you guys dude, brought no. it up, I think Plague Dogs is worse. A Plague Dogs, yeah. like I've seen parts of it. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about because there was a scene where a dog met some kind of explorer and he had a rifle with him. The dog was trying to yes. get up just for a yes. hug, and then his foot accidentally hit the trigger, and the gun was faced right to the guy's face. Yes. Oh, that sounds bad. Yep. And they literally have like the scene where the guy's covering his face, and there's blood dripping off his fingers. Yeah, yeah that moment right there, that was. What the I, fuck? I rarely ever get shocked in movies, but that was honestly one of the most shocking movie moments I've ever seen in my entire life. Because mm -hmm. I did not see that coming at all. I see. Of... Watch the so UK like version of Plague Dogs. I see Watership Down, or I haven't seen it and don't want to. Uh, it's basically, well, I haven't read them, but it seems like it's like the Warrior series or the uh, Guardians of Gahul series. 
but instead of cats or owls, it's just rabbits. <laughs> um, uh, but the funny the... thing is, is that both Plague Dogs and Watership Down are direct are made by the same people. The same person. Yeah, the same per people, Martin Rosen, and they're both based on the novels by the same Arthur. 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 Who's Arthur? Arthur. Sorry, Arthur. I'm just watching the ending of Great Mouse Detective right now, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, that shit that was so creepy, I had to watch it again. <laughs> what is the yeah, most fucked up kids movie you ever saw? Didn't we just technically talk about that? Yeah, this is kind of the conversation we're having right now. <laughs> Wait, so, okay, the most screwed up kids movie we ever saw. Wait, so All those go to heaven is pretty Or, or Did y'all say scary, screwed up, what, which is it? My question covered all bases. Um, okay, you guys already mentioned Watership Down, uh, Bambi, yeah, Land Before, oh god, Land Before Time made me cry, made me run uh, to my mom. Uh, <laughs> oh, I ran to my mama why? crying. <laughs> why does the music in that movie have to be so fucking good? I have, I have an answer to the, uh, Great Mouse Detective thing. It's not blood, but there are little pieces of Basil's jacket that go off of his back when Radigan's Oh, he gets ripped it. apart, yeah. are you fucking yeah. kidding me? But like they're a little, they almost look like little drops, and so my brain has always thought they were blood, and I'm just now it's figuring that out, and that's really <laughs> messed up. Damn it! Somebody <laughs> said brave little toaster. Damn brave it! They toaster. beat me to it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> brave little toaster off the list. Okay. Off the list. Can't think of what. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh god, oh, Darth Raven like... actually mentioned a much more fucked up scene in Bambi. There's that one quail who panicked and was like, I can't stand it any longer! It just flew up and got shot. Damn. A dead body yeah. just hits the floor. I'm like, God damn! Yep. <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh, that bird be dead. <laughs> That's lunch. <laughs> That's a dead bird. <laughs> what movie was that? Bambi. Bambi. Because, oh. like, when it, it, it's like a scene before the forest fire kicks in. Um, everybody is, like, trying to hide because man has arrived. And there's a quail uh, who's panicking, and then he's like, No, I can't stand it any longer! Tries to fly away, okay. and then... Pfft. I got one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, specific scene... Or scenes, I should say. Specific scenes, fighting scenes. Fox and the Hound. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And I'm brutal. not talking about the beginning with the mom dying. No, I mean, that's a classic Disney trope at this point. No, yeah. I'm talking about when the friends are fighting and when the bear shows up. Oh, yeah. What's oh, bear? God. Bear! <laughs> okay. So mentioned Dumbo, which, yeah, that's just oh, cheating. Oh, that's not fair. The baby mind scene is just cheating at this that's point. That's not fair. No, the baby mind scene is just, it's just a little wholesome moment. No, if we're going to talk about Dumbo, <laughs> <laughs> I, I should stop while I'm at it. Everybody no, knows what'll just, happen. Can y'all just imagine if Bliss was Dumbo and my mama being taken away? Aww. <laughs> oh, that no, makes I me was, very sad. No, I was about to mention, um... They're here, the pink they're elephants. there, oh, pink God. elephants on parade, pink here they come, parade. hippity boppity, they're here, oh. they're there, pink oh. elephants everywhere. Is he high or drunk? I can't, or <laughs> he was <laughs> drunk. Probably both. Yeah. He was yeah. drunk, because the wine <laughs> fell into a bucket of water, and he, um, fucking Dumbo thought it was just water and just drank it. <laughs> oh, this water I does taste funny. No, it's, it's also hilarious that Timothy falls in, and as soon as he pops out, he goes, oh, hey! <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, he's so, he's drunk off his ass. <laughs> no, a dog purpose, that happened to. Dog's purpose as an adult had me bawling not once during the movie, but three separate times. Uh, Wait, what? I cried a a dog purpose. It's about a dog that, um, you know, dogs only live yeah. for so many years and you bond with your kid and you pass on. This dog kept getting reincarnated and being with different people and like oh. learning things and figuring out the purpose of a dog. Oh and dear god. The dog had to die multiple times. It's like, oh my god, no, you're such a good boy. Oh, okay. I but was thinking in, of another end, yeah, I was thinking in, of another in, movie. Yeah. yeah. There's a sequel called The Dog's Journey, but I haven't seen it yet. No, you remind me of a you remind me of this one movie and I don't think a whole lot of people heard of it cuz I don't know if it was a blockbuster or what. It was called Fluke. Never seen it. Uh, um, it is about it's about 
reincarnation, basically. Uh, a guy died, and he was reborn as a dog. Um, Wait, I think I know he, what you're talking about. Did he crash into a tree? Yeah. Okay, Wait, I've been trying to figure out what that movie was called. I think it was called Spark or something. No, it was, it's called Fluke. <laughs> Fluke? Fluke. 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 Yeah. Fluke. You know what? Um, I think yeah, I should have he, that VHS. He's, yeah, he's reborn as a dog, and then he has splashes of his previous life, but he actually meets other people that were also reincarnated as animals, and basically they've all been telling him, hey, this is what happens when you don't live your life properly as a human. Um, you kind of you kind of downsize or de-evolve or what have you, but hey, maybe if you're lucky, if you die in this life, you'll be reborn a bird. That'll be awesome, right? <laughs> <laughs> But no, kinda. this guy couldn't accept it, and he wanted to find out what his, his previous life was, and he ends up finding out who he was. He he was a husband. He had a son. Um, but no, he was a bad man. Yeah. And he ends up finding out he was a bad man, and then realizes his mistakes, and I guess accepts himself? I, I don't know. I forgot how it went. This just is just it was interesting. a childhood trauma podcast, pretty much. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is not my childhood trauma. I've been abducted before. Oh, uh, yeah, I. but. <laughs> Movie childhood trauma. Oh, no, this wasn't it either. Dude, I saw Labyrinth as a kid and didn't understand it. And then I searched for it later on because I was like, what was that movie that had the thing? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I no, love Labyrinth! I don't, think, I don't think anybody understood it if you watched it as a child. <laughs> Like, right. I don't think you get how wild it is until, you, until like, years later. As a child, we Labyrinth was really Twitch creepy Prime. to me. Uh, thank and you, Blue there, Griffin, uh, Zora. I think it's time I, uh, end the pre-show and get straight to gaming. <laughs> Goodbye, He's YouTube. Realized... Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye -bye. Where the fuck is my money, YouTube? Where's my money, YouTube? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Where's my yep, money? Where's the soul on YouTube? Yep, I can thank see it now. Where's my <laughs> Fucking money! <laughs> ah! Hi, Solar. Where's my fucking money? Hi, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, wow. I've been smothered. Are right there oh, Huggles wow. going on over there? Oh, huggles? Oh, I, I, I'm apparently Aeons now. Oh, in bed throat. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> Solar. Okay. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what is fine? <laughs> what did he say? He said, you know what's mine? These gummies. <laughs> <laughs>